volume control and please if you just find my found this youtube videos and um, go back and watch my videos from the beginning because you may not understand some terms we use here so i'm relying that you watch all videos in order from the beginning so the trigger here is by default is ac so you don't have to mention oh please put the patient on assist control trigger it's by default the only thing you need to provide to the respiratory therapist is the backup rate which is the respiratory rate that you sit on the ventilator the and then you need to decide what kind of patient trigger because you pick the backup rate which is basically the control trigger the ventilator trigger and now you need to pick what kind of patient trigger the assist trigger it's either flow or pressure they work very similar so it doesn't matter really if you pick this or that and the number is usually two to three liters or two to three centimeter hto the triggers uh, sorry the threshold for these triggers so that's for the trigger for volume control let's move to the target the target is, is a flow target either you pick a square flow target or a decelerating gram flow target which is the most commonly used when you pick this you have to pick the flow rate 60 or 50 or 40 in the next video we'll talk why this importance but that's what you need to, to decide whether pick this or this this is the most commonly used the next thing cycle when to terminate the breath and volume control it's basically volume tidal volume as soon as the ventilator delivers this desired tidal volume it will terminate the breath so we have to provide tidal volume to the respiratory therapist to put it that we have to, pro to, pro to provide it sorry to the ventilator and that's probably what the name volume control mode came from from the name of the cycle inspiratory time here is indirectly determined by us and cannot be changed by the patient breathing status so we decide it indirectly how we have a flow rate and we have tidal volume so if you have 60 liter per minute and you need to deliver half a liter which is 500 cc just do the math this will be one liter per second so this will be half a second the inspiratory time so it's determined by us in directly so in volume control you need to provide a backup rate which is the respiratory rate let me put it here that sit on the ventilator you need to provide what kind of patient trigger whether a flow or a pressure trigger uh, so flow or pressure trigger you need to tell the respiratory therapist the next thing you need to decide if it's a square or a decelerating gram a square or decelerating gram you need to decide flow rate here as we said and inside tidal volume these the main things you need to provide respiratory therapist of course we'll talk about FiO2 and PEEP you have to provide those for all kind of modes uh, I have to admit and say that most of the time respiratory therapists by default they will pick the decelerating ramp and they will pick flow trigger uh, so sometimes they don't ask you if you want just to be very um, uh, thorough you have to provide all this but for sure you need to provide the backup rate and tidal volume of course if i2 and peep